What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. I've got your Friday Night Fortress Siege here in Lineage 2 Revolution for you this evening. I am not enjoying this extra hour of waiting that I've had to do this evening for Fortress Siege. Because of daylight savings time kicking in, we all lost an hour. And now instead of starting at 9.30, at least here on the East Coast at 9.30, starts at 10.30. I should have been in bed a half hour ago. I'm not gonna lie. I'm an old man. I don't like this. That marble needs to change this. Let's hope that happens. But let's get into it. We have two real fights this weekend. And the one that won the poll on my Discord server was Dynasty versus Red Devils. So let's check out their combat power. And there you have it, at the number two and the number three spots, Red Devils at 333.8 million and Dynasty at 330.5. That's 3.3 million or so difference. And you've heard me say this a thousand times before, but combat power doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot. That is super close. That's awesome. Hopefully this will be a good battle. Dynasty. Part of the resistance, Red Devils, part of party. Let's see what was paid. This is for an S grade fortress. Red Devils, 100 million flat. The other real battle, Oblivion versus Omega Squad. And that would be TMC versus the resistance. So the resistance, two fights today. Fighting everybody. That's why they call themselves the resistance. Let's head into the battlefield. Dynasty. On the top, in the blue, the defenders. Red Devils on the bottom. In the red, the attackers. We will be following Red Devils. And we've got two and a half minutes before this battle begins. I will be back at the 90 second mark. And we're back with a minute and a half before this battle begins. I have not seen Dynasty's leader pop into the battlefield yet. Oh, wait, there they are. Can we see them? Is that Roadrunner? Roadrunner, leader of Dynasty. Good luck to Dynasty. Six seconds before we begin. Looking for Red Devil's leader. I see the crown. Looks like Tanker. X, Tanker X. Uh, yeah, I, I, sure. Good luck to Red Devils. 30 seconds before we begin. Shout out to Anti Rave. 10 seconds before we begin. Five seconds before we begin. And here we go. Fortress Siege is number 53. Dynasty defending against Red Devils. I have caught Red Devils on camera before. I don't believe I've caught Dynasty yet. I could be mistaken. I have a very bad memory when it comes to these things. But I'm looking at that tower took a beating. And that tower is gone. Another team able to get anything going so far on the altar imprints. I see. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. Ten percent up in the next three minutes. They're gonna come flooding down here. Some red devils. Red devils not having it though. Where is Dynasty? You guys have a 10% bow. Oh, you're over here beating on the doggone tower. That's probably a, a semi decent thing. I guess. And they managed to interrupt Red Devils. Wow. They would rather go after the towers than try to go for the 30% buff. That's an interesting strategy. But they're doing a good job of, of constantly interrupting Red Devils. Oh, 
while whittling down both of these towers at virtually the same time. Red Devil's interrupted again. And again. And again. Dynasty with a minute and a half remaining in their 10% buff. But not trying to take... The red team's defense tower has been destroyed. Not trying to take this. They're just stopping red devils from taking it. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. And there goes the non-spawn gate of red devils. Now, are they going to come over here and try to take this? Or is Red Devils going to get the 10% buff for the next three minutes they have? Dynasty. 45 seconds remaining in their 10% buff. Not really sure which clan is the underdog in this battle. If you're basing it off CP, then Dynasty, but only by three million or so. I wouldn't even I, I wouldn't even use that as a, a basis. The blue team's gate has been destroyed. The blue team's defense And I believe that was the non spawn gate of yes it was Dynasty. Dynasty the oh, there goes Tanker. Drawing first blood on the Holy Artifact imprint time. And now Dynasty has to somehow stop Red Devils from getting the 30% buff. with about two seconds remaining. Red Devils with a slight lead in kills right now. We are five minutes into this battle. Devils unable to get the 30% buff. Just like Dynasty was not able to get it. Five seconds remaining in Red Devils 10% buff. Okay. Dynasty needs to go interrupt them if they don't want to see a flood, and they have done so. Will Red Devils interrupt Dynasty now? And 10% buff in the next three minutes for Dynasty. I just saw Roadrunner streaking towards the gate. Roadrunner did not get very far, but there goes one of the defense towers of the Holy Artifact of Red Devils. Unfortunately, Roadrunner ate some dirt. 
They're not. No, that's a tanker. Red Devils putting up a bit of a wall here. Dynasty trying to go for that 30% buff. We're over halfway. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, 30% buff for the next one minute, 53 seconds for Dynasty. Let's see how or if they will capitalize on this. Despite that, Tanker still getting time. However, Roadrunner... Whoa, what's what, what's going on over here? I see a lot of blue hanging around this area. You have a 30% buff. Why are you not crashing through the open gate over to an open side? Tanker's trying to get as much time as possible while Dynasty is just absolutely wasting this 30% buff right now. If their if their plan is to take down both gates and come from both sides, I I okay, sure. So far, if that is their plan, it's not working out too well for Dynasty right now. It's just Blue is just scattered all over this map right now, as you can see these dots. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. I feel a crash coming on. Danny C's got 10 seconds remaining, 30% buff. They got absolutely no holy artifact imprint time. They did get a defense tower down, and that is about it. The altar of earth imprinting has been reset. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the Red Devils artifact. trying to get Dynasty's altar. And they are over halfway on it. What is really going on? I don't understand Dynasties. Look at this. 10% buff off of Dynasties altar. What really? I don't think I've seen this in a long time. 30 seconds remaining in Dynasties 10% buff. Whatever Dynasties plan is, we are one third of the way through this fight. Whatever Dynasties plan was for this battle it's it's mind-boggling trying to figure this out right now they are just just all over the place Dynasties getting Red Devils is now. This is this is insane. And I'm not using the the shortcuts because I believe those cause the crash that I keep. 10% buff for Dynasty for, off of Red Devils' altar. Wow. What is really going on here? Roadrunner, you need to get in here and get some friggin' time. Or there you go, there you go. Go get some time now. You're just standing there. What are you doing? Wow, I don't understand. I I don't understand what I'm seeing here wide open and you threw up a bunch of something are you trying to buff yourself i don't i what what was that a slayer i'm not sure what kind of defensive buffs a two-handed or or dual sword dwarf actually has
Red Devils, 30 seconds remaining in their 10% buff. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. I mean, Red Devils. Tanker's doing what he's supposed to be doing. He's getting time. Roadrunner. I don't know what Roadrunner's doing. Both teams seem to be content to let the other team get their their own 10% uh, buff. Oh, there goes Dynasty. Uh-oh. And congratulations to Dynasty for successfully defending against Red Devils for their S-grade fortress. Didn't see that one coming. Congratulations to Elmo for taking number one overall. Did not see that coming. Here are your stats. That just sort of slipped through. Here we were just waiting on Tanker to just keep getting time. And then Roadrunner finally went down there and made it happen. That was a bit of a shocker to me. Was not expecting that. I gotta go back and see how long that fight was because... I don't know if that fight made it to, to the halfway mark. There are your stats. No, that's not the right one. Oblivion beat uh, Omega Squadron, but not not a shocker there, as the people they were fighting didn't look like they were stacking. Oh, congratulations to Oblivion, though, for hanging on to their S-grade fortress. And congratulations to Dynasty. Let's take a look at the castles. I was uh, told something about that. All right, so I was told that this is a three versus one. Sinner's Paradise, FSK, Impact, all part of the Resistance. Anoraxi, part of party. And there's Dynasty. Dynasty. And... Wow, somebody told me this was a two on two. I know Redemption's in, uh, Party. I, Korea and Chaos, I don't know where they're from. I was told that one of those was Resistance and one of those was Party. I don't know. I'm probably going to be filming this to see if Adder actually can take on three Resistance people by themselves. Should be interesting tomorrow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And hit me up on Discord or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.